Okay, here in our first example, we are going to join our first group. We're in Office 365. We just went to our mail app. And right now, what we're looking for is we want to see that there's groups here, and I do see them now. But some of you may be in More View, which shows you all of your folders. And at the bottom of, of More, you will not see those groups. So just make sure that you can get back clicking folders right here. And now you have your groups. We are first going to have you join our group, so go to Discover. Once you click Discover, you have a search box on the right-hand side of your screen. Click inside of there, type in ODTL, and then click the magnifying glass. You should see Technology and MIS. This is your group that you want to join. Click it. A screen pops up, and in the bottom right-hand side, if you are not a member, you will see an option to join, so click Join. I'm a member of this group already, so I don't see Join here. Once you do that, you can click back right over here, and you will see that the group has now filled in inside of your groups. Click it, and you have now the view of what uh, a group can see. Notice at the top you have Conversations, Calendar, Files, Notebook, and Connectors. There's 238 members of the ODTL Resources group. If I'd like to quickly message those people, I could click New Conversation, and this message box comes up, so I could send my email to them saying that new resources are currently available. Click Send, and depending on how you have your group set up, the user may have their new messages show up here under Groups, or if it's important, you can change a setting to have new messages show up inside of your inbox, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. One other thing I want to show you while we're here is by being a part of this group, when you click Files, a new tab pops up right up here. Notice that. So here the new window pops up, and we have a folder right here called Training Resources. If you click that, you will see that we have quite a few folders in here, so if there's anything that you missed about the Office 365 training, you can actually click right here on Office 365 and there is a PowerPoint that you can go back and review anything. If there's any other additional resources that you want to learn about, they should be available right here. Should you ever decide that you want to leave a group, go back to your group, and right here where it says Joined, you can click that, and there's actually two options that you might really need. One says Subscribe to this group by email. This will make sure that you receive all of the email messages directly into your inbox, if that's important. And secondly, you have the option to leave the group. That covers everything that you should need to know about joining a group.